If you're having paranormal issues, contact us at mwghosthunters.com. From the files of the Midwest Ghost Hunters. All right, Midwest Ghost Hunters site investigation recorder one. Oh, Justin, right there. Something just moved behind you. Yes, it did. What the f*** was that? What happened? Some touched my ear, man. What's that? is Dark Matter with Midwest Ghost Hunters. A couple of weeks ago, we made it out to, i uh, got to be real careful here because they have, uh, it's one of those situations where the the client, I guess you call it, has requested uh, anonymity. Is that the word? Yes. They, I mean, yeah. it, it's an open uh, an open place of business, and, you know, we'll respect that request for an, uh, anonymity. Uh, but they did give us permission to run some of the, if we caught anything there, they gave us permission to to play those. Um, so we're going to be real careful not to say where we were. We're not even going to say what state we were in. So we should be able to say, you know, what building it, what kind of building it is, I would think. Yeah, I think so. We'll just call it a nursing home. They had asked us to come out there. They've had, you know, claims over the years, uh, uh, different things happening in there. Now, uh, I wasn't the one who set this particular investigation up. So as far as a lot of the claims go, um, Dustin and Tyler were really the, the, the ones, you know, who, who were on the forefront of setting this up. And neither one of them are here today. Dustin's got a new refrigerator he's installing, and Ty was not feeling well. But me and Hunter were there, and John is here, but he wasn't able to come with us. We just took his equipment, uh, and he's gone through, you know, and pulled out some of the EVPs and stuff, but he wasn't actually in the building with us. So as far as the people present here today, me and Hunter really are it. So as far as, you know, giving a rundown of, you know, what the place, you know, looks like and what happened in there, that's that's really going to be up to us. What was your thoughts? I don't know. I'm terrible at describing stuff like this. I didn't... Anything you saw or heard that day... When it was going on that made you say, yeah, there's probably activity. I actually did hear for the first time on an investigation. I did hear something with my ears and then we played it back there and it was in the recording. And that happened actually when we were standing out in the hallway, didn't it? Yeah, it was in the hallway. And that's where all of mine came from. That's where all the the EVPs that I brought today came from a recorder I'd set on a fire extinguisher in that hallway. Yep. Um, so that's what I do know is is uh, they had had experiences in the kitchen area, which was very big. They had experiences in the hallway adjacent to the kitchen. And then there were a couple of other rooms completely across the facility um, that they said they had experiences in as well. So we investigated all of those areas. A couple, well, a couple things we can say right off the bat is in the in the kitchen area, the EMF is very high. Um, Especially in the corner. In that corner. By the ice machine. Over there where Dustin was standing. And he's like, I just feel, you know, I feel weird, you know, yeah. over here. And we checked the EMF and it was extremely high. I can't remember. Was that an ice machine? Or, or It was an ice machine. Yeah. There was something over there that was spitting out just, I mean, crazy high amounts of EMF over in that corner, um, which could account for, for some of the activity. Another thing that could account for some of the auditory experiences they had is they have uh, gas... Um, burners I, I i'm not sure that they cook on where the pilot light keeps burning in yeah. order to keep the co2 from building up they've got fans the the exhaust fans that pull all that out those exhaust fans are very loud they're loud as hell um and they run constantly so your brain can actually matrix you, we've done it this morning going over a few of these especially in that kitchen area your brain can start to matrix and start hearing things in that what you'd call almost a white noise of that fan we did figure out a way to disable that at one point, and we turned it off for a while. But then I got to thinking about it. I was like, I don't want these damn CO2 <laughs> detectors going off if there starts to be a buildup in here. So we turned them back on. Uh, but for a little bit, we did turn them off. But one of the cool things on this investigation for the first time is we took the REM pod. We brought a REM pod with us, which is something I've always wanted to use. Because the thing with a REM pod is you can't trick them. You can't trick a REM pod into going off. A REM pod is, is just a, a, it looks like a, a Yankee candle with a big antenna sticking out the top. Pretty much. With, uh, with lights on the top. And you can set it to different settings. You can set it to temperature. You can set it to sensitivity levels. And we had it set where it was fairly, you pretty much had to touch it for it to go off. So I guess we had the sensitivity level set high or low. I can't, well, I can never think how that goes. Um, anyway, you almost had to, uh, like, uh, you can also set it to where if you just breeze by it, it'll go off. We didn't do that. We set it to where it was very sensitive and we tested it. Uh, you, we actually have a video of Melissa testing it. She's holding it and touching it with her other hand. She physically has to touch it to make it go off. So we used the REM pod uh, in the kitchen area and had that set up and it actually makes an alarming sound and has lights anytime anything touches it. And can, we did. Can, can EMF or anything like that cause that to go off? If, no, uh, if no. The it's, waves it's, are high? it's physical touch. Okay. I think it's pure motion. Yeah, it can be motion. We had a set to touch. You physically have to touch it to make it go off. Because I touched the table all around it 
trying to get it to go off and it wouldn't. You have to actually touch the device in order to get the alarm to go off. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, we had we had the sensitivity levels. <laughs> you you yawning? That? <laughs> was that you yawning? No. Oh, I thought oh. that was, I heard something there. I did hear something there. But anyway, we had the sensitivity level set to the point where you have to actually touch the device in order to make it go off. And we did get it to go off several times. Um, as far as impressions of the facility go, I mean, it's very nice. It looked fairly new. I don't know how new it is. I mean, hell, it could be forty years old, but it looked. But it looked new. Yeah, I don't have a clue. It was new. And, uh, you know, in the, oh, I should also point out in the areas we were in, in that kitchen and that hallway area, there were no, there was, there was no residents there. Did we do both rooms or we only do the one? I can't remember. I only went in the one. Both rooms? There were two rooms that they said felt weird. I know me and Tyler went and hung out in one. I think we only did that one. I think we did. Um, I, I, think, don't, I, I think, don't think we I think Dustin one. decided the other one was too close to where active residents were. But anyway, we did uh, We did do a room that was completely empty that they have activity come from. It was one of those. It's pretty much a classic uh, a nursing home, you know, type thing where the call light keeps going off when the room is empty and uh, people hear noises in there. They feel weird when they go in there. It was that kind of thing. So we did investigate in that room. And do we have some things from that? I can't remember now. We do have a few from there. Okay. Uh, everything I caught on my recorders i had four of them set up mine in the everything on the task cam is in the room you're talking about okay and but then you actually caught on your recorders some stuff in the kitchen area mine i think mine weren't all mine could hear is that damp that damp blower that fan that's all i could hear i don't know i where the recorders were i were i was not there that oh, okay. night so yeah, i can't tell you that's true um so we're just going to kind of go through some of these and play them for you um as far as uh as far as act, act um, like personal experiences you had the one where you heard the thing and then we backed it up and, and heard it dustin also had that happen uh, like eight feet away from that same spot you did yeah it was it was uh, i think it was actually closer because his was on the doorway inside of the kitchen. Mine was on the doorway outside. All right. And we've got both those. Let's see. Melissa had, uh, she didn't like going in the room. She did not. At all. I didn't feel, I, I'm not one of those people who feels shit. Me neither. Uh, um, Dustin told me to sit in that corner that he felt weird in, and I sat there for about five minutes. Like, he left and came back, and I, I didn't really I did the same it. thing. I mean, you can trick yourself into thinking you you're, you feel something, but as far as actually physically feeling anything odd, I didn't feel, you mean over by the ice machine? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, another thing we should probably point out is the, uh, the, the um, I'm not going to say specific, the people who asked us to come had said that the, the encounters they've had in the kitchen area they they thought were attached to to a name noel um so we use that name as a as a trigger whenever we were in there um to try to get you know stuff to happen and then uh so that's why you hear us saying you know the name noel is that's the that was the name they gave us they say well you know we think it you know it might be this person i don't know I, and i don't know the full story around that person because i wasn't the one um who was to who was um, talking about that but i am gonna let's see i'm gonna back up here and i'm gonna go into some of these uh evps now some of these we're playing off of uh, we're playing audio from a video that we took and I want to make sure everybody understands if you've ever messed with a REM pod you know you can't uh, if it goes off something's touched it now did a bug land on the antenna maybe but I'm, my point is something has to physically disturb the field in order for the EM uh, for the REM pod to go off that's why when it did go off because I mean hell I had a hard time getting it to go off sometimes I even banged the table a few times to see if it would go off from that and it doesn't there's a lot of the REM pod going off on the um, uh, the Zoom recorder. Right. Uh, so we're going to go ahead. I, I don't even remember what order these are in. I'm just going to kind of go in the order that, that they're on my... They're in no particular order. They're just in the order of, of ease of access for me more than anything. And I see I've... I, I don't... I, I need to get... <laughs> I don't name them. You name them well. And Melissa names them specifically. I just call it like nursing home one, <laughs> nursing home two. It's like, shit, I don't know what this is. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to play some of these. Now, these, I believe, came off the recorder that was in that hallway that I was talking about, uh, where you and Dustin heard your, it was, you, where Dustin was in the hallway and then you were near the hallway or it may have been vice versa. I don't remember. I think it was, I think it was vice versa. Okay. But we were near that area and that's where these come from. I believe. Let me pull one up and play it here and see what we got. I can't. How many are you taking? Two? Three? I should, How many? I should only take three. There's probably going to be three. Blood pressure. Okay, that was like, I couldn't tell what that was. I'm going to play that again, and it may be, I can't tell. I can't tell. It sounded like some kind of talking or whispering. I, I just can't tell. Let me play it again. This is a recorder I had in the in the kitchen area, and you're going to hear that that blower 
blowing full blast in the background. How many are you taking? Two? Three? How many? Don't change blood pressure. I, I can't tell. That's the three one. Is that? No, I don't think it is it? Yeah. Let me it's do that three. Again. Let me do that one again. Maybe I'm listening for the wrong part. How many are you taking? Two? Three? How many? I should only take three. Don't change blood I'm glad you said that because, yes, I was listening for the wrong part. That sounds a lot like another one I found. So this is in the kitchen area, and uh, what we're talking about is these little light-up uh, items. Not the REM pod, but these little light-up items that we ask, you know, if anything's in here, can you touch one of those, and they light up. And Melissa was asking, how many of those are you taking? And I said, three. Right after I said three, it sounds like something in the background repeats it. Um, we can point that out here. Hang on. How many are you taking? Two? Three? three. I should how many? I should only take three. Right there. My guess is we were in the residence room and this was when melissa had stopped liking the feeling and left it could and be i can't as far as the timeline goes i can't remember but i can re i can play this scene back in my head and it was me and tyler and melissa in the kitchen and i said hey i'm going to take a few of these these uh light up uh, items that'd be my guess then let me play it one more time we can point out that spot how many are you taking two three, three. I should how many i should only take three there's no room for three Right there. It sounds like something says three. I can't be sure. I can't be 100% sure on that one, uh, but we threw it in because we can't explain it. I'm um, going to keep running down the line here. Let's see what we have on uh, this one, and I just can't set it up yet. Okay, now this is the what the hell this was This is that? the recorder that was outside. I moved my recorders once. This at first before I put it up on the fire extinguisher, I set it on the floor outside the kitchen, <laughs> right in that little walkway into the kitchen. And this is that area. I moved my recorders a couple times and this was this was in the very beginning before I moved it to the fire extinguisher. Listen to this weird sound. The the overwhelming noise you hear is that damn blower in the kitchen. This is that's why I decided to move the recorder out. But this is before I did. And you can hear that blower blowing and then this weird I don't know what it is. Let's play it again. It just keeps going. It's so many times. Now, what is all that banging shit? I'm not sure what that noise is in the background. Uh, Maybe it doesn't appear on the on the. It appeared it appeared on all of mine that I caught in that kitchen area. That's why I moved all my recorders out of there and let John's take care of them because his are better at funneling some of that stuff out than mine are. But that noise is loud in the background and this this grunting sound sounds number one close to the mic and number one almost sounds to to like it's in beat or unison with that sound in the background. I'm gonna play it one more time here. I don't know. I don't know what that would... I, I don't know what that would be. Um, which one did I play there? Right? Was that that one? Okay. Um, let me go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, at that point, I moved all my recorders out of there because I had to listen back to something Dustin thought he heard. And I was like, shit, I can't hear anything on here except for that fan blowing in the background. Let's see what we got on this one. Right there. That's the part you're listening for. I think. I don't know what that first sound is. It, I don't know what I, it sounded mechanical, like something in the kitchen. Yeah, it, it did. But um, so this was actually outside the kitchen. Whenever I was getting the recorder started to to set them up. So what you're listening for is that pterodactyl sounding squ squawk at the end. I um, was too distracted. Yeah. Ignore that part, and we'll we'll circle back to that because that's the first time I actually heard that. It sounds almost mechanical to me. I wish I could remember exactly where I was standing, but I can't. I hope it is because I'm never going back. This in is you and I uh, on. This is on. This is you and I on here, and so I don't remember where the hell we were. But it's at the very end of this you want to be listening for. It. Right there at the end. That. Now, I do want to circle back to that other thing though, because that almost sounds like a car. Yeah, but we there was. Almost no way to hear a car outside from where we were, especially with those fans. Yeah, let me play. Let me go into it a little bit to that that spot. Let me let's see what we got. This one here. Yeah, okay, okay. Check, check, check. 
Okay, I didn't put it in there it for that. It sounds like cartoony that's a, ghosts. That's a car of some kind. It sounds like a car. It sounds like it. I would believe it if it was. It just like some that was the of, first thing I, I heard. Don't know where the, I don't know where this facility is located at, but that sounds like a car to me. Well, it's a. It would. Be, I don't know. It have to be a loud ass car. I think it's almost something mechanical in the kitchen, or or I don't I know. Would, I don't think that's a paranormal. I believe it could also one. be a plane too. Yeah, I don't Could think have been a plane. I don't think that part is. That's not even why I put this in here because I didn't even hear that. I was talking about the squawk thing at the very no, no. end. So let me it's just not. go to that very that very end part. Yeah. That thing right there is the yeah. thing I don't know what is because um, it almost sounds like a dog, and we know damn well there wasn't a dog in there. Right. Um. Let's see. Okay. It now, sounds like Marvin. Now these three are going to come off the videos, I believe. Yeah. So this is one of those uh, interplay with the REM pod that I was talking about. Now it's very rare for the REM pod to number one peg to the point where it, it lights up and lights up and and because that means something's almost grabbing the antenna. And number two, it's it's even more uncommon for that to happen in conjunction with the temperature sensor going off at the same time. And that's what happened on this one is both went off at the same time. The the alarm went off saying, hey, something's grabbing this and the low temperature alarm went off too, which means the temperature has dropped several degrees or around the area around oh, the rim. Oh, that did go off? Yeah, they both went off at the same time. Oh, I didn't think that ever went off. No, this is the only time it went off. And this was me and Melissa and Tyler standing in the kitchen. I'm going to play the video and you're going to hear the audio portion of it. I'll turn it back on if you'll So I'm going to turn it around here so you can actually see the video for the people in the room. The red light is the something's touching me light. The blue light is the temperature sensor. So let's do it again. I'll turn it back on if you'll make that light turn green. Please. Turn, it's turning green. Yeah, those are... Um, I think the, the, the EMF detector also went off at the same time. I hadn't noticed that. I'll turn it back on if you'll make that light turn green. No, it didn't. I was looking at that wrong. Uh, but that's the only time that both of those went off at the same time. Um, and then we do have... I, I, this one is really no point in playing it because, because you can't hear anything. But it's one of those times I am going to go ahead and play it. And I can just tell you what happened here after we play the audio portion of the video. Noel, if you're in here, make that light light up for us. Does that one count? Yeah. It's lighting up. That's Oh, you, it's the... Toy thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to play it again here because it's kind of on cue, and that's the only time this little ball lit up at all. And I know you I know you folks listening onto the podcast are like, what the hell are they talking? I can't see this. But we're, the, the little light, as soon as I say, Noel, if you're in here, uh, goes off. Let me play it again. Noel, if you're in here, make that light light up for us. Does that one count? Yeah. And that was me and Tyler and Melissa at the same time as the other thing went off. Uh, oh, the other thing we should probably mention on a few of these, you're going to hear a song playing in the background. <laughs> it was K Sera Sera. Um, that was the trigger song that the uh, the employees said for us to use to try to get um, the um, Noel person to interact. So you're going to hear that song playing a couple times in the background. Let's see, John, you know the names of these. Is there any one in particular I should start with or just start at the top? There are the, most of the Melissa ones. This is the uh, the ones that Melissa tagged and, and did these for me. Uh, there's a lot of REM pod going off. Um, I'm gonna, Let's go to this one where the REM pod goes off with nobody in the room. Let's play that one real quick. I just kind of wanted to see how long it went off. It went off for a long time. There's also several of them that, that go off with uh, Dustin on command. Dustin Dustin got uh, got him to do it on command, and then also one of the uh, one of the staff people had made mention about making a run to uh, get some drinks. I see that one. I was going to pull that one up. You know, so it's one of the staff people had done that. Let's yeah, let's play that one. He does. He wants something. He has a drink from something. Has it been doing that since I've been sitting up there? Only like once or twice. Okay. 
So that was one of the staff members coming in asking if 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 Ty, if Tyler and Dustin and those guys wanted a drink. They were going to go. Someone get, wanted a drink. Clearly, they were going to go get drinks, and then the rim pod went off. I think I heard Tyler say, "I think they want something." That was me. Oh, that was you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. So, and that was in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. The rim pod, I don't think ever made it out of the kitchen. I think it was in there the whole time. Yeah, it did. That's right. Yeah, it did. It stayed in there the whole time. Uh. So we got a lot of these. Uh. Yeah. A lot of these are rim pod uh, responses, which are, which I find exciting because. I know you have to touch that damn thing in order to get it to go off, but it would probably get redundant to play a lot of those over and over. But I do want to hit a couple more of these before we move on to the others. I think this may be the one that had the sound that you were talking about, Hunter, before we started. The high-pitched worry yeah, let thing. Yeah, let me play this and see if this is, is it. That was what we heard. I know. That was what me and Dustin heard. That's what you guys described. I wasn't in there to hear it. Right. So I don't... Because <laughs> we looked at each other and went, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if that was... I mean, do you chalk that up to paranormal? It sounded like a drill. I don't... It, it might have been the freezer. Sounds, that, I was going to say, it sounds like a dental clinic. The, the freezer was where it came from. It came from that direction. Oh, and that reminds me, I will say... There is also one that you hear something that in the freezer in these. Yes. I forgot about that. Is that on these? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's in that. Okay. I will say we heard one time when I still had my recorder in the room, we heard what sounded like a knocking sound coming out of that freezer wall area behind. Because we looked in there to see if anything had fallen over. My recorder didn't get it. Um, oh. But but here is, oh, maybe, hell, maybe this is, this may be it that's right it. here. So let's go ahead and play this and see. Yeah, that is definitely that's definitely that's definitely where it happened because I forgot about that. We heard what sounded like something uh, knocking or something in the freezer behind us, and we looked in there, and all we saw were a bunch of cupcakes and you know normal stuff in there, and it didn't, didn't look like anything had fallen over. Was um, that a zipper at the start? Did someone zip something up? <laughs> I don't, on this one, I just played. That's what, yeah, what I thought that it? sounded like a zipper. I think that's some kind of like el electric anomaly. I think that's some sort of a buzz. Yeah, I think that's like a maybe a mic connection or something. Maybe it, it just sounded like someone zipping something up. Yeah, I'm can, not saying it was weird. It was just like I can hear that someone must have. Um, let me go back. Put here something away. See. I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and play this one here, where the rim pod goes off for Dustin really quickly. And then there's the rim pod. Yeah. Do it again. So we did have a lot of interplay with the rim pod in the kitchen area, which can't be explained. What happened? Just Dustin, Dustin playing with that thing was my one of my favorite parts because he. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't. He didn't sound like he gave his a shit. Deal he was saying, oh, well, yeah, do we'll it. do it again. Come on. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do some. He was literally jacks. playing. A, he was playing a game where well, he said, "All right, I'm gonna count down from ten. If you don't beep by the time I get to zero, <laughs> I get a point." <laughs> You had a point system going. It ended in like, like uh, Dustin 3, Ghost 1. That's the something. thing I like about rim pods is something, if it goes off, something touched it. That's that's the end. It's black and white. If it goes off, now that can mean a fly landed on the, on the antenna. I'm just saying something touched it if it goes off. There's no EMF that can make it go off. There's no, there's no bump in the table. There's no floor vibrations. There's no door slams. There's nothing that can make a rim pod go off except for some kind of physical contact with the, the unit itself or the antenna. Um, so that's the thing I like about it is it eliminates a lot of other stuff. Stuff. That's why I anticipated when we set it up, you know, for the first time using it at this facility, I didn't expect it to go off at all um, f because I'm kind of a, anytime I set up the, the EMF detector, I'm very pessimistic about it. I'll always set a recorder next to it, but in my mind, I, I, I know when I go through that recorder, I'm not going to hear anything. And usually I don't. Sometimes I do. But I, that's kind of what I figured was going to happen with the REM pod too, is that we would never get it to go off. Not 
not saying that that uh, that I was not uh, you know discrediting the, bl- the the claims from the facility. That's just kind of the way my mind works going into these things every time, especially with a device that requires some kind of interplay with uh, you know a, a spirit or whatever. Um, I just didn't expect it to go off at all, let alone go off you know on command because there's nothing airborne. There's not dust. There's not uh, lighting. There's not heat or anything that can make th- the rim pod go off. It is is solely rec- dependent upon physical touch. Um, so that was why I was really surprised when it did go off as many times as it did. I'm going to back out there and I'm going to go over here to the um, the ones from the room. I'm kind of interested in these because we didn't hear anything with our ears there. Yeah, and that's what I was looking to see. Is it this one? I can't remember which one we were playing before we started, but I'm just going to pull one up and play and then we can kind of break it down after. Now to catch everybody up, this is half of us were in the kitchen, half of us were in the uh, in the the vacant patient room um, where the staff had said they felt had weird feelings and stuff and then we would rotate, we would switch um, and I don't remember who was in the room at this point, but uh, we'll pull it up and play it here and see, see what we got. If you touch that small plastic ball near the oxygen machine It'll light up and let us know that someone's in here with us. And I think right there is what the part you were talking about, isn't it, John, with the like distant talking in the background? Yes. Or yes. Open that bathroom door. Now, let me let me go ahead and first say John didn't come on this investigation with us, but he sent his recorders for us to set up and he reminded us when we got there, tag everything. So me and Tyler took that to an extreme. When we were in that room, every creak, every click of a, you know, AC unit, every. And I do have to say the guys did a great job. Every drip in the toilet. We would say, that's this, that's that. And if we didn't tag it, we didn't hear it because we tagged everything. We even heard at one point someone way down the hall talking and we were repeating what they were saying. It's like, okay, that's someone on the hall because I just heard them talking about insulin. Um, so let me go ahead and play it again and we'll point out the part we're talking about. If you about. touch that small plastic ball near the oxygen machine, it'll light up and let us know that someone's in here with us. It's coming up here in this blank space. It's just like a distant talking. Right there. there. And it keeps going. And if we open that bathroom door. And if we would have heard that, we would have 100% tagged it because we were, like I said, we were tagging everything in there. Um, and again, this was in uh, one of the one of the vacant patient rooms. The person who had been in that room had just passed away. Uh, well, not just as in, I mean, they had recently passed away to the point where whenever staff go in there for you know, whatever. And this is also the one where the... Um, call light was going off. But whenever the staff goes in there, they they were just reporting, you know, different odd feelings in in the room. So that's why we kind of set up some stuff in there, too. Let me go to this one. Let's see what we got here. Who's... Let me do it again. Hang on. Who's... Whoa. Who's... I think it was the, the beginning of it. What did I say there? Well, is there's something at the beginning and something at the end. After you say who's, it sounds like someone whispers here. Okay, let's see. Who's... Oh, yeah, that, there it is. that, it's That's that thing it. at the end. Cause I think that thing at the beginning is Tyler laughing. Yeah. It's, it's that, the right it's after. That... <laughs> let's go ahead. It almost do... sounds like here, but it also sounds like that. Yeah. Let's, I, I didn't hear that the first time I was listening to the beginning. So it's after I said, whatever the hell I said out of the blue, who's or whatever. Who's. Yeah, I, I, and th- the thing about this room is it was very self-contained. That's why I was, I told Tyler at one point, I was like, if I hear something in here, it's going to scare the shit out of me because it is dead quiet. It was so quiet. Um, yeah, That's so why we, you could tag things so easily. We were trying so hard to get the door to the bathroom to close or move or do anything, and we did not get that to happen. But I didn't hear this when it happened. I'm going to play it one more time here. <laughs> oh, I went, I went a little deep there. Let's do it again. <laughs> So, yeah, that is an anomaly that I can't explain. Um, let me move on up. Um, let's see. Let me let me move up to this one. I may have already played this, but we'll find out. Put the ball on the floor. Make it light up so that we know that you're in here. Did 
Did you hear anything there? No. I could hear that, 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 that sound in the background. That that was something coming out of the bathroom that just would happen every now and then. I don't know what that was. Okay, because I don't remember hearing it when I was It there. didn't happen the whole time, um, but I didn't catch anything on that one. That There's also one of them where the song is playing. sounds like it's a thousand miles away. Maybe this one. Now, I have to say, so that is another one where Melissa was using the song as like a reward system. If you'll turn the light on, we'll turn the song back on. I have to say this much, and I can say this with confidence. Having that damn song playing in that dark, cold kitchen was freaky as hell. (laughs) Yeah. It was like you were in, uh, you remember that, have you seen Insidious? Uh, <laughs> Where the, the thing, the demon starts dancing or whatever. It, it was like you were in that part. Uh, it just added to the creepy factor to me, having this 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 weird, you know, song playing in the background constantly. But that was a song they said to use as a possible trigger item. Um, so that's why we kept playing it. Um, we have, uh, I mean, we've really got a whole bunch of these REM pod responses. Did I miss anything on the Tascam? Let's see. Think is there of, any more on the hallway? Oh, wait, one? there is one. There is one I missed. There is one. Well, those were the ones that I played at the beginning. Oh. Uh, here's one that I missed. Let me go ahead and see what this one is really quick. That's a conversation happening in the building. Right there is what yeah, we're talking that, that, about. I hate you. Yeah, that was, I think me, Dustin, and Melissa were in the room. And that was me saying there's a conversation happening in the building because there were people talking nearby. But it wasn't you doing the whisper thing, right? No, that was not me. Okay. So there was something there. I'm not sure exactly exactly what. I've got a whole bunch of these. I don't want to get too redundant playing a lot of the same stuff um, over. A lot of the stuff was all REM pod things. A lot of it was. And then we do have that weird thing that I played at the very beginning that's like the grunting um, yeah, old that person weird. that we can't really explain. And then we did get like a... Like a a whispery type thing and then I don't know there's various things so we did catch uh, some anomalies in there is the one that I heard with my ears at the time in here because I don't think we've gotten to that one yet um gosh I, I was kind of interested see. to see if you could understand what it was saying because it was like a little whisper at that point I had moved let's see that is would the be the Dustin one that would be back here the Dustin there's one? a whole bunch of these is I didn't the one play that Dustin ha- Dustin caught on the video or something um no I think I think uh it was the one in on Chris's recorder in the hallway on the fire extinguisher. I thought I played, did I not play that? I thought I did. Maybe. I don't remember. That's um, the only one that I can remember that I, that I'm I looking don't know if I've heard through, yet. Let's see. Rimpon. Okay. Um, we Did we play the one where the Rimpon sounds when Dustin hears the whisper? I don't remember if we did or not. Play we, it again. we can play it again and see. Don't think so. Yeah, we'll have to lean. Well, that's the Rimpon. If you're going to touch it like that, we need to do it when we ask. <laughs> I just heard it. <laughs> what the hell did That's I say? Me. Oh, what did you... Well, I was laughing. What did I, was... I say? I don't know. You said, if you're going to touch it like that, you need to do it when we ask. Oh, is that what I said? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pulling a tie. And I thought it... <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was funny how <laughs> I don't even remember how blunt saying, that demand was. I don't even remember saying that. Uh, so is that one, Dustin? Let me play it again. I don't remember that either. Oh, lean. <laughs> if you're gonna touch it like that, we need to do it when we ask. <laughs> I just heard it. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that was Dustin saying, I just heard something. So that was when he heard his his sound that I played that he sent me off of his phone earlier. Um, so we've kind of got a jumbled mix here of things we played for you out of various places of the nursing home. And I know a lot of places whenever we go, I mean, one of the reasons they want us to come is, first of all, to see if there is anything. And the second of all, if there is anything, is there anything they should be worried about? Um, as far as should they be worried about, I don't I didn't feel anything. Look, I'm the last person who's going to feel with the exception of, you know, whenever we're being chased out of a place. That's different. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm the last person who's just going to feel weird in an area. I just never feel it. So I didn't feel anything that felt threatening. We don't hear anything that feels particularly threatening. No, I think it's fine. 
Um, <laughs> you were there. <laughs> yeah. Then fine. again, we were. Th- <laughs> We were the two people who didn't feel anything, so Dustin, we're not really the ones to ask. I never feel anything. I haven't yet either. Um, well, I shouldn't say never. I have before. It's very rare for me to for 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 someone to say, "Well, it feel come over here." It feels weird in here. I feel the same. I feel the same over there as I did over here. I, I rarely ever feel weird. There have been some exceptions, like I've said along the way, where the air, you know, starts getting that heavy, yeah, dark feeling. And, and um, one other thing, uh, Dustin said at some point. He, he asked me if I was feeling cold, like if the if there was a sudden change in temperature. I don't remember when that was, but I did not feel it at all. Was that was in the standing kitchen? right next to him? Yeah. Was he by the ice machine? No. <laughs> okay. No, he was not. <laughs> he was near the REM pod. Now, Dustin does occasionally have that feeling of weird feeling. I rarely get it. Yeah, he's he's just crazy. <laughs> I I'm rarely kidding. get it. But uh, anyway, circling back to, you know, the, the, the question being, you know, a lot of uh, business owners in this case, and well, and of course, there's people who live there. It's their home, too. Um, but in the case, in this case, we were asked to come there by the business owner. They're, you know, their they're concern, is there anything you need to be worried about? And, and I don't think so. We did get some interaction with, uh, with the song in the kitchen, and we did get some interaction, you know, when we mentioned the name Noel in the kitchen. That was when the REM pod and the uh, the the touch sensor and the the uh, uh, thermal sensor went off at the same time, but still didn't really. F- and we did hear the knocking sound, you know, in the freezer area. And then we caught some stuff out in the hallway, which is just outside the um, the kitchen too. And I should have also pointed out uh, we talked about the high EMF coming from that. Was it the ice machine? There was something over there in that corner. I can't it's remember. Like an ice machine or soda fountain or something. whatever that was. It p- put off very high EMF, and that EMF actually leaked through the wall all the way into the hallway did not know that yeah on the other side would you say that there's definite activity i would say there's something yeah we caught you know we caught stuff that would that would definitely point you towards that there's some kind of activity going on there i don't think it's necessarily malevolent or or trying to cause any trouble i mean we've been fooled before but i i, I just didn't i mean i didn't feel anything bad it felt fine it, I mean, you know, even even in the even in the dark room, um, you know, where we played some some audio here, where we caught a few things in the in the uh, vacant patient room. It, it, to me, I mean, obviously, Melissa, if she were here, would say it likewise. Um, but to me, it, it felt okay. Yeah. Um, but uh, I don't know. Just to, to summarize, we we didn't really feel anything. We felt a malevol- malevolent presences before, and it didn't feel like that. It just felt. Okay, so uh, we, we've got a lot more audio pieces here that we didn't play because for the for the sake of a podcast, we try to keep from being too redundant. But when it comes to you wanting to seek out this information yourself, uh, we put it all. We put it all up. So we're going to put up a page on the website, mwghosthunters.com, and we'll put it all up there. And you can kind of go through it and listen to it uh, and listen to the different pieces and kind of kind of see what you think. But there's definitely things popping up where there shouldn't be things for sure. So I would say on, on that on that front that the, there is some kind of activity going on and we'd be happy to go back sometime if they wanted us to you know go back and i would like to get more clarification if we do that if we can turn off the blowers in the kitchen i, I didn't think of that until it was too late last time all right I, I either didn't think of it or i didn't realize they were as loud as they were but uh, yeah we'd definitely go back and do it again especially if we can eliminate some of that sound in the kitchen with uh, by turning those blowers off i think we might be able to get even more i think there were probably some sounds that were having because i threw out i threw out several when i had my recorder still in the kitchen area i threw out several that could have been something but then hell, I was like, hell, I can't tell if that's actually something or if I'm just kind of matrixing based off of that constant loud white noise from that blower coming in the background. I think if we can eliminate that, we could probably get a little bit more. But anyway, we will uh, put this all up on the website. You can check it out yourself. We definitely caught activity in there, but I don't think it's anything to be worried about. And we'll check it out again if they want us to. But we will put that up as soon as we can. All these audio pieces, there's a bunch of them. We didn't even play, you know, even uh, we played maybe a third of them. Uh, But we'll put those up at mwghosthunters.com. And more dark matter next week from Pithy and Castle in Springfield, Missouri with Midwest Ghost Hunters.